Welcome to my video on the five soil forming factors. Hello, my name is Jenna and I'm a graduating senior studying agronomy at Iowa State University. I'm very excited to tell you a little about some fundamental elements of soil formation. Let's get started. First and foremost, let's define what is soil. You may say that soil is simply just earth's surface. It's the ground that we walk on. You could also say that soil is a media or a mixture composed of many things forming into one unit. You could also say that soil supports plants physically and chemically. So it provides area for plant roots to hold steady and contains nutrients that plants need to grow. Soil is also home for small organisms, bugs, bacteria, and microbes. Just like soil supports plants, it can support small organisms too. Most important to the subject of this video, it's important to remember soil is always evolving and changing over time. So how does soil get to be soil? The truth is, there are many different natural processes that go into forming soil, but the ones I will discuss are parent material, climate, topography, biological factors, and time. You may have guessed, these are the five soil forming factors. Let's start with parent material. What is it, and why is it called parent material? The word parent comes from the Latin word parare, which means to bring forth. So, in the context of soil, parent material is the material that brings forth layers of soil. When soils form, the layers they form are called horizons. In most cases, the parent material is shown on the bottom, and the soil forms on top of it. In this drawing, the letter C is referring to the parent material of this soil profile. Parent material is the foundation, and some properties of the parent material can influence properties of the horizons above it. There are additional factors that influence how we get to have all these horizons shown. One of these factors is climate. Climate is a word that describes the long-term average weather patterns in a specific area. Our world is very large. And the climate that occurs in this area is likely to be different than the climate that occurs in this area. For instance, you could have a hot and wet climate or a cold and dry one. Temperature and moisture play a major role. Soils in hot and wet climate typically form and age faster than soils in cold and dry climates. An area that is hot and wet could be a rainforest and may have a soil that looks something like this while areas that are cold and dry may have a soil that looks a little bit more like this. As I mentioned, temperature and moisture play a major role in soil formation. One factor that can influence temperature and moisture is topography. Topography is the arrangement and physical shape of the land. Topography's influence on temperature and moisture actually has a lot to do with the sun. Take a look at these mountains. One is full of lush forest, while the other looks like a desert on a slope. Because of the arrangement of these mountains, one receives more hours of intense sunlight than the other. The mountain soil with more sun has more heat and less moisture, therefore results in a drier soil with lesser ability to support plant growth. Thinking about slope, the shape of the land influences the movement and storage of water. The types of soil that form on the highlands are different than the soils that form in the lowlands because of this natural flow. So what if our slope looks something more like this? Slope can cause physical change in the soil profile. Over time, the weight of this tree increases and the stability of the cliff decreases. And this might happen. This will disrupt the soil horizons and mix them together, which will further evolve the soil. The falling of the cliff is not just because of the slope, the tree also had a role, which leads into the next soil forming factor, biological. Biological factors include anything that's alive and has an influence on soil formation. For instance, it could be the roots of a plant growing and carving paths for water and air to move in. It could be animals burrowing dens or adding nutrients from their excrements. 
or it could even be humans plowing and turning the soil over. All of these actions cause changes in the properties of the soil such as structure, moisture, and chemistry. This brings us to our last soil forming factor, time. If you've been listening closely, you probably heard me mention time in almost every other soil forming factor previously discussed. Soils are continuously evolving, and the more time that goes on, the more soil can change. For example, one day, you might have a perfect day. The land has beautifully developed soil horizons, but then there's a major flood. Look how dark that flood water is. It's carrying a lot of sediment and organic matter. That sediment will be deposited on top of the soil that's already there and becomes a new parent material. Now we've made it through the breakdown of the five soil forming factors, so let's review. Parent material is a foundation for new layers of soil to develop. Climate. Influences temperature and moisture, therefore determining the kinds of soil that can develop in an area. Topography. The shape and arrangement of the land influences temperature and movement of soil and moisture. Biological factors. Cause changes in the properties of the soil, such as structure, moisture, and chemistry. Lastly, time influences every other soil forming factor because soils are constantly evolving. This concludes my video presentation on the five soil forming factors. Thank you for watching. If you have further questions about soil formation, I encourage you to visit the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service website as well as your local university extensions website.